Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. Today is a very special episode of Bookcraft because it is the finale of Charlotte's Web, the book that we have been reading for the last couple of weeks. I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I win, I won, oh. I won. Bye, Rain. Not today. Not on the finale. Hi, Nathan. How are Hello. you? Hello. <laughs> and Jasper's here too, but he didn't even. You guys didn't even try. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the word of the episode. I went back and I added bibliophile, so we are all caught up now with the words of the episode, which brings us to episode 40, which is going to be uh, a word that I've used a lot that I like, which is languish and actually this is from the book charlotte's web charlotte says that she is afraid that she is languishing and wilbur actually doesn't know what that means and has to ask charlotte to define the word and she says that it means that she's kind of fading away uh you know if you're sort of just say you're in bed and you're sick and you are uh weakened and you're just kind of like you're your strength is all gone, then you would be in bed languishing. And Nathan, you actually should be in bed languishing. Where are you? Because you, you're you probably here in the library, but you are actually sick, Nathan. Yeah. You should be in bed languishing. Although I don't want you to languish because that means that you're like like wasting away. <laughs> uh, but uh, but you are sick, but you're going to carry on because it is the book craft finale uh, yes, of, of Charlotte's Web. Let's be clear yeah, about that. Yeah. I feel like we're often not clear about that. And I say, I always say, it's a book craft finale. And then people say, what? No. Uh, just oh, of no. Charlotte's Web. We'll be starting a new book soon. Uh, but we are yeah. bidding adieu to this banner uh, of Charlotte. So uh, what I want to do actually is finally make my bow because I have enough levels. I completely forgot in the last episode that I could have made my bow when we got back from the nether. And if I had had my bow, Nathan, I could have shot that creeper off of the roller coaster. You could um, have. So it was really sad that I didn't have my bow. So I'm going to put power four on it. Uh, now, do I have to rename it now? Or I can rename it when I put the infinity on it, right? Yes, you can. Yeah, okay. So power four bow. Oh! And then how many levels is it going to take to put the infinity book that I found on it? Five levels. Not bad. And we are going to name it... Uh, the hole puncher, uh, which was a comment that was left that I rather enjoyed. So infinity one and power four, Nathan, what Impressive power? Boat. And I have a piece of flint, so I just need to grab, uh, how do I not have any wood? Okay, here we go. Uh, I need to quickly make myself, uh, my single feather, Nathan, uh, <laughs> so that I can have uh, a single feather, single arrow. Uh, let me go get a feather, though. Speak of it. Uh, and then I'll have my bow. And then, hi, Ms. Reed's lot. Then we can go to the county fair, uh, which yes. I'm very excited about today. Oops, I need a crafting table. Uh, and then we will be able to go to the fair. We have been working on the fair a lot. And it, oh, I always do this uh, uh, recipe Fine backwards. Find glow sticks. Find glow sticks. Oh, oh, for the for the arrow. Find glow sticks. I said triangle glow sticks for the for bows. Oh, not for the bow, for the um, for the uh, for the arrow. I always mess up the recipe for the arrow. Uh, I'm gonna grab this lead actually right here too, uh, for Wilbur and. What was I saying? Uh, anyway, yeah, we've been working on the fair a lot, and it's really come along. I actually need to grab some. I'm completely almost out of soup. So, yep, I heard you, Olive. I am coming. Uh, can I have can some do. soup, please? Thank you, Olive. Uh, oh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Uh, anyway, Ms. Reedslot, what do you have to say to me today? Oh, you're going to the county fair. Darn. I mean, hooray. Yes, I am, Miss Reads a lot. I guess I will see you there. Uh, all right. Oh, Nathan, what am I doing? Hello. It's the finale episode of Charlotte's Web, and I was yeah, about seriously. to run to the barn. 
Are you kidding come me? Come on, Stacy. I don't know. I'm sorry. We've got to come upstairs, and we have to take the train, the Charlotte's Web track, uh, over uh, to the barn. Uh, well, in the next episode, we'll put the book there. It'll be so sad. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, hello, little baby Wilbur. Hi. Hi, baby Wilbur. Oh, he just disappeared because I went out of his chunks. Um, oh, by the way, I am a farmer today. I've forgotten for a few episodes, but I am back to being a farmer. This is a first. We don't have to jump out and sleep. Uh, I'm gonna come straight through. <gasps> dog ear! <sighs> Hello, dog ear. Fancy running into you up there. Oh, dog ear's in a minecart now. Oh dear. Dog ear's going. Oh, dog ear, no! <laughs> no, dog ear! He's gonna go to the new roller coaster. I got stuck in a. I got stuck in a cobweb. Oh no, dog ear! Oh, no. Nathan, fly and help him! Stop him! I don't think he can do the loop to loop. What if he dies? No! Dog ear. Okay, thank you, Nathan. Thank you. I'm gonna You're come welcome. and get Wilbur. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, we've extended the train and it turns into this awesome roller coaster that Nathan built. And there's actually a loop to loop, which I think Dog Ear really wanted to try out, but it's just a little <laughs> too much. Um, Wilbur? Oh, hi, Wilbur. Let me lead you. Uh, Templeton and Charlotte are already over at the fair, uh, like in the book. Uh, so come on out, Wilbur, and let's go to the county fair. This is so exciting. All right, come on, <laughs> Wilbur. Uh, yeah, I, I wish that I had shown more of the process of building it. It was such a fun collaboration between myself and the Wall Shirts build team with uh, Nathan and Jasper. Uh, we really... Uh, you know, came up with different booth ideas and kind of like collaborated on the look of it. And I think it turned out really well. You guys only saw it when there was just the Ferris wheel and the carousel, or as I like to call them, the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheels. <laughs> uh, but now there is, oops, I think I broke my lead on Wilbur. Is it oh, over? Shame. Yep. It's over here. Now there's quite a bit more. Oops, you know what? I only have three and a half hearts. Let me eat my soup really quick. I guess that little... Oh, there's Dog Ear just sitting on, <laughs> on the minecart staring at me. Like, what are you doing? Um, we'll get you, Dog Ear. Do you think he could handle the loop-de-loop? -loop? I think he could. Okay. Well, in a minute, we can have him, we can have him try it. Uh, but I want to show everyone the rest of the fair first, uh, including or starting with... This amazing fair banner that Nathan made. Look at that. It says fair. This is awesome. All right. Come Fairly on, guys. Awesome. Come on. Uh, you like it? I yeah. Yeah, I do. Fairly awesome. <laughs> Good one, Nathan. Hello. Hi, sir. I'd like to come to the fair. Oh, Nathan, you added a rainbow sheep. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. I don't think we'll need to pay to come to the fair because I have Wilbur, the amazing pig, with me. So thank you. Coming through the turnstile. Come on. Hi, Jasper. Oh, Jasper's getting his turkey legs and taters. This was my idea because the <laughs> fairs that I go to uh, always have... Oh, Nathan. Yes? It was here in my notes and I forgot. Can you loan me some money? Like one um. gold bar? I want to have sure. a nice time at the fair. I feel this is actually from the book when the kids, when Fern begs her parents for, can, can I have some money, please? This is your allowance, okay? It's one gold ingot. Okay. Thank you. So don't go spending it too much now. I won't. Uh, let's break it up into nuggets. There, I have nine gold nuggets to spend at the fair. This is so exciting. All right, so turkey legs and taters. Uh, at the fair that I always go to in Idaho, uh, there's always turkey legs. I never eat them. Uh, but uh, And, of course, baked potatoes. So, hello, sir. Can you come over here? Um, hello. Oh, oh, he's got a little chicken trapped in a cage. That was my idea. Um, all right, so if I click you, look at this. I can get a baked potato for three gold nuggets, or I could get a turkey, a cooked chicken turkey leg uh, for two. So I'm going to put in two nuggets and then get myself a cooked chicken. Oh, Wilbur. No, Wilbur. No, no. Get out of there. You don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be near the butcher because we noticed that he has uh, an actual knife uh, on his, there. You can see the knife right there. Um, all right. So 
Let's go ahead and show people. I'm not even hungry. I'll have to save my turkey leg. Let's show people oh. the other games. This is one of my favorite games. This is the game that Jasper worked on tirelessly uh, to get it working. So I noticed that the light blue dye in this texture pack are paint cans. And so I thought, how cool would it be if we put paint cans in item frames and then you could like hit the item frames and the paint cans would fall off the item frames. Well, I say something like that. And then Mr. Jas Panda here, uh, he says, you know, I'm just a little fancier than that. I'm going to go ahead and make it so that the paint cans actually stand up on their own. You can see them standing there in midair. See them? Mm -hmm. And then they're actually going to fall over. So if I stand on these pressure plates, I get snowballs. Let me get a bunch of snowballs. How many turn? How many? Oh, I think I should only get like five chances, maybe. That, that, sounds, that sounds good. Okay. See if I can win with five chances. All right. Oop, six chances. Wilbur gave me another chance. Um, all right. He's a, he's a good pig. I, he's a good pig. Okay, so I'm going to aim. Nope, missed. Oh, missed. Nope, missed. A little higher. Nope, missed. Nope, missed. No! I missed all my... I'm not good at the carnival games. This is just like real life. Oh, Jasper, you made it so authentic that it's like... It's it's hard to win. This is perfect. It's rigged. No, it's not rigged. This is this is perfect because this is actually what happens at... What just hit me? Oh, the, the snowball. Oh, <laughs> no. Let me... Let me try to get one. <gasps> Jasper oh. got one! Oh, I mean, he built the game, so I guess he's better at it than I am. Look at that. Oh, he got two. Look at them fall like that. That is Dang. so incredible. I love oh, it. Another one. Oh. Oh, he got them got all. One. Nathan got the last one. I'm terrible then, at then carnival games. Button, all right. Oh, button. yeah, this button will reset it. <gasps> that is the coolest thing. Jasper, you... Never cease to amaze me with your redstone abilities. Another thing which we are going to actually show in this episode. Look at the Ferris wheel in the background. We're going to show that in a minute. But we have a few other carnival games. Uh, Wilbert, never mind. That's not a pig on a carousel. Um, guys, should we just like ride the carousel for just for, you know, funsies? Sure. Like just hop on. I'm going to hop um, on this I, I guy. Call this one. Which one did you call? Oh, that one. This guy. And yeah. Jasper. Where's Jasper? Oh, Jasper, we want you to ride too. Hop on. What's Come the on. matter? Oh, there we go. We're okay. all on the carousel. Uh, all right. So then let's actually, I want to take Wilbur over to his pen, but let me show you the other things. So this is a melon and pie stand. And I'm actually really excited about this because, and you can trade with him too for pie or for melon. Uh, I'm excited about this because this is actually a little bit of a crossover in the first book that we did on Bookcraft, the 21 Balloons. Uh, in the town, they have like a fruit stand and they make the melons and, and the uh, pumpkins into like little balloons uh, to celebrate the 21 balloons or well to celebrate the... Uh, Professor Sherman coming to town to tell a story in San Francisco. And so I always wanted to have a melon and pumpkin stand in Bookcraft. And I never knew, like, I didn't want to just put a random melon and pumpkin stand, like, in the middle of, you know, the, you know, just the field. Uh, so it makes total <laughs> sense now. Uh, okay, Nathan, this is your game, and I love it. This is whack a grazer Yeah. And I am so excited. Okay, tell me how to play. Tell me how to play. Okay, so, so. So there's a grazer robot that goes back and forth, yeah. and you're trying to shoot him. And when you shoot him uh, successfully, you get to choose one of these four prizes to keep for your own. Ooh, okay, so it looks like it's a bucket of milk. That's, I mean, that's what I want. Um, a bottle of enchanting, a cookie, or a golden apple. Yeah. Hmm, I guess I could go for the... The cookie or the... Uh, well, the golden apple's worth more. Um, okay, so I use my... Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 Wilbur. I'm going to be shooting my bow... So let's have you come, let's actually, uh, let's tether you up here because I don't want you to accidentally get shot. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to use my new, hopefully I'll be better at this with the hole puncher than I was at the the paint car, uh, the paint can game. Hopefully. I'm going to go for the golden apple because I think it's worth the most. Mm -hmm. um, all right, how many tries do I get? You get five tries. Five tries, okay, all right. Let me, let me study this. Oh, I did it on the first try. 
We tested this out the other day, and I did not do it on the first try. I get the golden apple. I get the golden <laughs> apple. I won. I won. Yay. Yay. Whack a grazer. And then the last booth over here. Hello, Ms. Reads a lot. You skedaddled over here. The pop-up library. How are you? Um, do you have, like, can I, can I interact with you? Can I talk with you in any way? Let um, me see. Let me um, see. I don't think that there's... Uh, hold on, hold on. I think you can. I think you just gotta press that. Oh! <laughs> Are you wearing Grazer's chest plate now? Yes, I am. Okay, what do you have to say, Miss Reads a lot? Welcome to my pop-up library. Don't touch anything if you're wearing a blue and white striped shirt. Miss Reads a lot, I'm not wearing a blue and white striped shirt. I changed my outfit so I can touch everything I want to. Touch, 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 I'm touching. I'm touching, touching, touching the books. Miss Reads a lot, I'm touching the books. I'm touching the books. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Ha 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 ha. You didn't expect me to be in my farmer outfit. Rain at the fair and ooh, oh. Jasper won, then Nathan, then wait, or did I win? He won. Wait. I think he won. Yeah, he won. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Fair enough. Get it, Nathan? Fair enough. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. leave the puns to me, okay? <laughs> okay, fine. Look at how awesome the Ferris wheel looks like with its, all the leads uh, attached to it like spokes. That's I think amazing. It looks awesome. um, all right, so actually, uh, before we uh, put Wilbur into his pen, uh, actually, no, let's put Wilbur into his pen now because I want him. I see Charlotte over there. So come here, Wilbur, and then we'll ride the Ferris wheel. Come on, come on, here you come, here you come, come on, come on. Oh, look at the roller coaster! Guys, look at the roller coaster! I forgot that they haven't seen it, Nathan. Um, okay, let's yeah. put him in here. Oh, hi, Templeton. Oh, Templeton's attacking me! What? Oh, no. Templeton! Templeton, don't don't be like this! Templeton! Okay, I gotta get out, I gotta get out, I gotta get out. Oh. Dangerous, Mouse. Yeah, dangerous. Rat is more like it. Uh, but there's Charlotte up there. Okay, Wilbur, you are in your prize-winning... Uh, position now at the fair. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my turkey leg and show the roller coaster. Guys, this is incredible. I can't even believe it. There's a loop to loop over there. Uh, there's a big hill here. You can kind of see like the faint outline of where I had started to build uh, my little line here, but it's just been totally made even more amazing. Uh, all right, so I want to actually go out and show the Ferris wheel now, and then we will get to the roller coaster. So a lot of people were wanting me to show what is down here. Only pandas allowed. I have gotten permission from Jess Panda, though, to show what makes this Ferris wheel actually turn. Now, granted, this is not going to make sense to me, and I'm certainly not going to be able to explain it. Um, it's a lot of command blocks that you're about to see, but I think it's interesting to check out anyway. Right, Nathan? Totally. All right, so here you would see all of these command blocks, right? And you're like, oh, okay, there's a lot of command blocks to make the Ferris wheel go, right? All this glowstone up here. So the can you imagine if a creeper spawned here? By the way, if a creeper spawns here, I've already thought of a plan. I'm just logging out. Um, because obviously we can't have an explosion here, but you would think like, oh, wow, that's a lot of command blocks. Uh, but no, it's, it's not really a lot of command blocks when you think of this. This is what makes the Ferris wheel go. And just so you know, this is kind of what happened over at the airy go round to make the airy go round go. We just went through hundreds, possibly thousands of command blocks. Uh, Nathan, this is incredible that he, like Jasper, the fact that you, Jasper can hear me by the way, I think, uh, you are a genius. The fact that you know how to work all of these command blocks to make them power something up here at the surface. This is crazy. I don't even know how to begin to explain this, but I'm just gonna say it's Minecraft magic from a panda. Magical. Uh, right? It's so crazy. So let's see it in action and let's actually do a proper, I turned the Ferris wheel on in another episode, but let's do a proper Ferris wheel ride. Okay. All right. I'm ready to come on. So what do I do? I just sit down in the, the chair. In the seat. Okay. Yep. There we go. I'm sitting in the seat, Nathan. Okay. I'm ready to ride. 
Okay, and you guys write oh, too. Oh, oh, Jasper's in there too. Okay. Um, so wait, do I have to hit the lever? Uh, I believe you might. I think I can reach it. I think I, I think I can. Mm. Do you want to get on? Uh, it's all right. What? Okay, fine. Oh, I did it. I did it. We're going. We're riding in the Ferris wheel. Look at this. <laughs> This is so cool! Oh my gosh! It actually turns! It's so pretty! It's so pretty! I love it! Oh, hi Wilbur! Hi Wilbur! Oh my goodness! Uh, how's the view up there? It's pretty spectacular of the entire fair. It's just like... It's just like we're at a real fair, Nathan. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna hop out. I think... Oh! Yep, I hopped out. Okay, I'm in the Ferris wheel. Oh, and run, run, run. All right. Uh, now, Nathan, I want to actually see Dog Ear do the loop to loop. So, oh, okay. can you do the honors of pushing him? Uh, because sure. I just want to see this. Dog, Dog Ear is going to be our <laughs> test dummy. This is probably not the greatest idea I've ever had. Uh, I have some pork chops. I have some raw, not pork chops. I have some raw beef. Uh, on me uh, in case he takes some damage but tell me once you've pushed him he's coming he's coming okay so i'm gonna run over here to the loop to loop and get a good view uh, of dog ear coming and doing the loop to loop oh my gosh i'm so scared for dog ear oh here he comes here he comes go dog ear go dog ear oh wait he's not gonna do the loop to loop until he comes back right yeah. Oh, okay. All right. He's going over there. He's being so brave, Nathan. He is. <laughs> and now he's going back up the hill. There's oh, my goodness. Dog, dog here. <laughs> we did not plan this. Dog here. Oh, gosh. Okay, here he comes. He's going to do the loop to loop. Go, dog here. Go. He did it. He did the loop to loop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was epic. Good job, dog here. Were you scared? I don't think he was. All right, so Nathan, I think that it is time to invite some people onto the server because I think that the fair looks a little poorly attended this year. It is what a do you think? This year, I think we need we need some guests. All right, let's get some guests. After the fair, when the Ferris wheel was being taken down and everyone was leaving, Charlotte died. But she had laid eggs at the fair, which Wilbur brought home and placed in the corner of the barn. So Nathan, please go ahead and summon in uh, 514 chicken eggs because, well, that's how many eggs she had. You know, I, I think I have a better way of doing it, honestly. Um, there's something that I don't think you realize. <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. In this texture yeah. pack, it looks a lot like a sack of spider eggs. That's perfect. So all of Charlotte's babies hatched and went away, uh, but three of them stayed to be friends with Wilbur. And that is the end of the second book in Bookcraft. As always, I want to say a special thank you to the Wall Shirts build team for helping me bring the books to life in Minecraft. Their channel will be in the description, so go subscribe to them. And make sure to tune into the next episode of Bookcraft next Friday to see what the third book is going to be in this series. Do you have a guess? Leave it in the comments below. And thank you for watching episode 40 of Bookcraft. I will see you next time, but until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.